Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be just a, a general reading for Gemini star sign and it is not your personal reading, therefore I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And um, as the Christmas is approaching, there is a Christmas deals going on related to the 20 and the 30 minute service there, which are saving you some, uh, some money. So that being set aside, going to the Tsar spread first, these are the four cards we have for you Geminis. The first one, Five of Cups, sits for the topic of your week. The second one, which is the Seven of Swords sits for the core of the situation. The third one, which is the Knight of Pentacles, it is about the challenges that are causing predicaments and needs to be overcome throughout the week. And the last one, the Nine of Cups, that is about the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So, <clears throat> all in all, looking at these cards, it looks like that you have far, uh, that you have fall a victim of a certain unpleasant situation. And uh, as we dive deeper, the Five of Cups here pointing to the uh, topic of the week. The topic is related to a certain losses, uh, emotional breakdowns as well as a result of those uh, losses. Uh, these losses could be um, anything, literally that card only expresses the emotional breakdown, such as for example when someone loses a large amount of money, you know, they go through an emotional breakdown. If uh, someone loses say, a person, uh, let's say a relationship is broken, you know, again, emotional breakdown, etc, etc. Now with the Five of Cups, what is important here to be acknowledged is that this is a minor arcana, which means that these things does not last very long, that first thing, and second, they are not definitive, which means that you, this is not the end of the world for neither you or, you know, for, for your life in general. For example, if you are um, experiencing a loss of money, then those money can and should be, you know, recovered. And as well, if it is about a heartache here, you know, relationship-wise, uh, then that doesn't mean that you will not end up with a, a new relationship. As a matter of fact, you know, this card, for, this card for sure points that once you start walking that path, you should not deviate from it, which means that if you go for a relationship, um, a kind of like suitable relationship, if, even if this one isn't, then a, a new one is going to come very soon, which is to be more suitable than this one. Um, <clears throat> what is important here to be acknowledged with the Five of Cups as well is that you should focus more upon those things in your life which accelerates you and which kind of brings glee in your environment rather than those which are kind of like falling apart. It is basically here throughout the week that you need to re-evaluate your um, blessings if I may express myself that way. Now, why this is happening? We do have the Seven of Swords. Basically, you have been lied. Here, we do have the most generic interpretation of the Seven of Swords, that you have been lied about the, lucra uh, the, the, the lucrative unfolding of a certain um, project, for example, or a certain situation, or someone lied uh, to you that they love you, for example, etc, etc, as the only thing that they wanted is, for example, to have sex with you, and uh, so on and so on. The important thing with the Seven of Swords is to realize, you know, that this is a situation where fool me once, shame on me, you know, well, shame on you, you know, fool me twice, shame on me. So, uh, you can just, you know, wipe out the dirt that uh, you take from the fall and uh, move on. That is the best thing that you can do here in this, uh, in this specific situation, apart from, uh, how can I place it? Mm. Apart from realizing that uh, the world is cruel and it's not every time fair, uh, 
that's why uh, for some of you Gemini's it will be as well beneficial if you can demand justice to do it I'm just saying here uh, looking from these cards that some of you will be able to eventually you know walk out from that situation uh, profitable than deprived <coughs> So, uh, looking at these couple of cards here, the synergy isn't very good, which means that the despondency from that situation is not going to be that tremendous. So, I don't believe that you are to lose your savings, your entire savings, you know, or is going to be a complete collapse of one relationship. Yeah, there will be an issues here and there. <clears throat> you know but nothing that you cannot kind of like fix repair and then etc etc based on the uh, basic synergy of these couple of cards it's just they don't contribute with one another very well therefore the lies are not going to be fat lies um, that you have experienced or the lucrivity of the situation was kind of accurate but maybe the means of how you're going to get there were, not, were inaccurate and therefore now you are facing that state of disappointment and emotional breakdown that you have thrown so many toils behind it and yet the result is not satisfiable. Now what we do have here with the Knights of Pentacles, these are the predicaments, we do have a person now that person, the only, the, by the way, this is the card, the court card that you can pull out the least uh, negative properties from it. The Knight of Pentacles is very determined. The Knight of Pentacles is very compassionate. It is very uh, practical as well, you know. That is a, a person of skill. Someone that can basically gather up things and really find value of them. The problem with the Knights of Pentacles is that it is a, a very um, practical, like I said. I mean, they, they don't believe that there are many ways to uh, basically reach a, 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 a certain result. And also the other um, setback of the Knights of Pentacles is that they are rather very slow and meticulous. And uh, as we saw here, that the situation will require some uh, new strategies. That will be the tough thing throughout the week to um, basically convince that person that hey, a different strategy is to work out better than the strategy right now. And that's something that comes into my mind right now is that you could have had a, a promise given to that person and that person could give you a certain promise. But now that promise could be outdated based on the current situation, realizing that the facts are rather different from the from the facts that the promise was given based on. Uh, you will have a, a difficult time convincing this person that the promise should not take place any longer, should not be fulfilled, and etc. etc. Like for example, if that is your boyfriend, just saying because it's a Knight of Pentacles, uh, you promise to him that you are gonna go on vacation into the Caribbean islands, for example, and now as the circumstances here are changing, you're realizing that this person you know, or you start thinking that this person doesn't love you that much, you know, your desire to go on the Caribbean, it's kind of like vaporizing a little bit and you just want to stall the situation as much as possible until you, until you regain back that flow of emotional connection but yet they have already planned, you know, and uh, already probably booked tickets and, and booked uh, hotels and these kind of stuff so it's about convincing them to uh, delay that vacation if that's the case that was just an, an example so coming to the last card here Gemini's it is the guidance or what you should do in order to make your this week more uh, easy to you so as I said then I, uh, with the five of uh, cups here this is just a, a confirmation that you should focus more upon the things which comes as a blessing to you it's kind of like again re-evaluating your blessings I am completely deprived from attention those uh, situations which are making you feel poignant and despondent which are making you feel bad 
in another words. So it's all about drive uh, for acceleration here, a drive to uh, kind of feel yourself happier and happier and there are many things that you can do mainly this card in that specific position as a follow-up regards to hobbies you know if you like uh, riding horses um, <clears throat> then go and ride horses you know if you like driving cars go and drive cars if you like playing video games go and play video games etc etc the nine of cups here advises you to use your free time outside of work you know the way that you are finding it to feel happy if you are using your time to commiserate upon the loss if you use the time to kind of fight with your boyfriend or a girlfriend for that day that you, over your suspicions uh, sus suspicious that uh, you know they don't love you as much as they say uh, they love you it's not gonna do any difference here it's just it's gonna make you feel more and more uh, despondent than than you have to be so yeah the uh, the nine of cups advise you here Gemini's to really focus on those things which are making you feel happy and those things which you you can uh, push through with ease again like hobbies like undertakings that you are really master at. So that was the tower reading for you Gemini's and now let's go to the Lenormand one which is to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Let's shuffle them really well here. Alright, so let's cut the cards. Let's see what we got. Now the first one that is the fish and the fish primarily stands for money expand like but expand on business you know something material then what we do have this is the rider the rider stands for new enterprise new beginning and information as well and the last one that we do have this is the ship the ship stands from afar it stands for venture it stands for risk as well so how I interpret those cards are a, a lucrative new venture that will involve a certain risk it could regard to investment that you have to obtain however an information about before you actually invest or it could be that vacation I talked to you about as the ship is traveling as well you know coming from afar like in a different country like spending money over a um, <clears throat> taking a vacation or a, a traveling and if that's the case this is going to be a, a new enterprise for, for you something exciting something that will really uh, make you feel better looking at those cards and it definitely is going to sprawl your um, your understanding and your perception on top of that. So that being said Gemini's this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19 to November 25th 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a general reading for Gemini star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And don't forget the Christmas, um, the Christmas sales, the Christmas offers. So that being said, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.